Good morning, Eric. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How are you feeling? Absolutely fantastic. What, what, what's it like for you to be up at 8 o'clock in the morning? Because I'm sure you're on the East Coast with me right now. And I mean, here in the Carolinas, my God, it's a gorgeous morning. What about your morning? I I, <laughs> I am still waking myself up, but I am here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, let, let, let's be honest. As a creative person, waking yourself up, we've been awake all night, and you know that. Because creativity is one of those things that just, you know, you, know, mm -hmm. you, you, can't, you can't turn it off. Mm-hmm. I totally agree. Literally last night at like one o'clock in the morning, I was painted red because I did like a little devil photo shoot late at night in the middle of the street. So I, I relate. I definitely relate. <laughs> so you were doing a photo shoot at, at one in the morning. Tell me about this, please, because I mean, I mean, that's that's a creative mind in action when, when you do that kind of stuff. I just don't play about my Halloween. It's my favorite holiday. And I don't play about my Instagram either. So I just got to get like some cool Halloween like costume looks for my Instagram. So I just had the idea, you know what? I'm going to put a full black suit on and I'm going to paint my whole face red, put a long wig on. And I called my friend. I said, hey, can you beat me at a crossroads? <laughs> at, literally at one o'clock in the morning. And her crazy self said, yeah. So I painted myself red, put my suit on, got in the car, picked her up, and we went to a crossroads, and we took pictures. <laughs> so so, so ha have you posted it yet, or is this something that we can all go to? Uh, I'm still editing it, but you know what? I'll probably post it tomorrow. Okay. I'll probably post it tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm going to send you the picture ahead of time. I'm going to send you the picture ahead of time. Oh, thank you. I mean, that, that's the one thing about, about Instagram. It's such a tool to get people to come to you. And I think that's one of the things that a lot of creative mm -hmm. people have got to understand is that you've got to utilize the strength of all the tools around you. Yeah. If you have it, use it. It's a resource. And you never know what could like come, like what could be the outcome of using like a resource. So make sure you use all of them. Well, you're also a TikTok user. My God in heaven, what the heck are you doing there with all 2.7 million followers, dude? I once again I'm still processing. <laughs> I'm always still processing. Yeah, I just do food reviews, drink mainly drink reviews. And I think people just like hearing me talk trash about stuff. <laughs> and I, I don't view myself as a negative person. I'm just very specific in what I like. <laughs> now, now, you said movie reviews. I, I, I'm into movies like really big time. And, and, and checking out movie premieres and stuff like that is what I do for, for basically a living. So, so what, what's the latest one you've seen? Well, actually, I, I've done one movie review, but I do drink and food reviews. Oh, yeah. I like food. I don't, you know, what, yeah. what, 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 well, okay, let me ask you this. Since you saw the movie, how did you feel about that Halloween Ends movie? You know, I, I tell you what, I spent time with Jamie Lee Curtis. And, and, and oh. so, so I, I think that I was poisoned by that because the, the fact that I talked to her first. And, and so it was an Ooh. automatic win for, you know, for that film because she, she spoke so passionate about it and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. so I, I can't give you a real honest-to-God thing. But, but my wife, who, who was at the actual movie premiere, is a thumbs up. She's sitting across from me right now going, it, it was oh, okay. a great movie. Okay. Uh, 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 uh-huh. <laughs> yes. So, so it, me that you talk. Uh, I, um, yeah, yeah. I, I love. You know what? I love every scene she was in. I'll say it like that. I love every scene she was in. She was in. Well, she, she. My God, if you, I hope to God you you get to talk to her sometime because when you talk with Jamie Lee Curtis, the thing about her is is that she makes it about what's going on in your present place of now. I mean, she'll she'll you you can ask her a question and she'll go. So, um, what 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 is your dog? What, what's your dog's name? And and you know, and, and, and all, of a sudden, all of a sudden she becomes interested in your own personal life. I love her. I love her like you wouldn't believe. Yeah, I love her. I love her, and I love every part of the movie that she was in. She <laughs> was. I'm gonna keep saying that for. <laughs> but, but but what about the the parts where 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 Michael was in there? You know, I mean, I'm coming. <laughs> do you like any of the scenes? That, okay, did? you got me. See, you you caught me. You you read between the lines of what I'm trying to say. I am a hardcore Halloween fan, and in my personal opinion, I a shout out to the director and everybody who made the movie. I just would have liked to see more of Michael Myers with it being the last movie. Oh my God, my wife. I, it was kind of. Yeah, that's exactly oh, what my oh wife God. is saying. My wife is saying the same Thank thing. Right you. Now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God. It took too long to get Michael in the story, didn't it? 
I pro- I literally timed it. Michael did not show up till like an hour and 15 minutes. And the movie was only an hour and 51 minutes. I was so mad. <laughs> I was so mad. Oh my God, I was mad. But no, beautiful movie. Beautiful movie. I love the storyline. I just expected to see more slashing and dashing yep. from Michael Myers. That's all, but I loved it. Yeah, but you know what the talk on the street is, uh, Eric, is the fact that this, this is not the final one. You know, Jamie may not be part of it, but oh. they, they, they will continue to, go, to to grow this franchise and stuff like that. It's not over yet. Oh, oh my God. Please don't tell me that because I'm gonna get too excited if I holler on this phone. It's too early to be hollering. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you, you're not even old enough to even remember the very first one. I was there in the theater during the oh. very first one. Well, I, I saw it, but I, I definitely was not in the theater with it. With it came out. <laughs> but I definitely, I, okay, did you watch like all the different, like very, like Rob Zombie and oh, then like you yeah. have the original? Yeah. And I, okay, I, I, I kind of stick with the original. Yeah. And see, the thing is with, with the Rob Zombie version is, is that I, I think that was nothing more than a gateway for him to do what he's doing today. Because, I mean, I, first of all, I love what Ooh. Rob is doing right now. But, I mean, he was a little squeaky on, on the monsters that he's got on TV right now. But the thing is, is that his movies are scary he, with the clowns and everything like that. Oh, see, I, I agree with that first part you said, because I don't I don't I couldn't tell you another Rob Zombie thing other than Halloween and Halloween, too. Oh you, no no no! You got you got to check him out. You you'll become such a huge fan of his movies, and when when you see his name oh. on any movie, you're gonna go, oh, I've got to see it. It's it's Rob Zombie. He totally gets it. Okay, okay. Can you give me like one other movie that's real popular that I probably already saw and just didn't realize it was his movie? Well, the, my wife is looking it up right now, even because I'm not good with titles or anything like that. But I'll tell you what, though. His, okay. his, see, the thing is with, with Rob is that his wife plays a major role in every one of his movies, and so you sit uh-huh. there and, and you and you go, okay, so what what, what is she going to be doing this time? And but there there was one, the one with the clown is that I swear to God, there's like like three or four of them all together, and any time that that clown oh. appears in a movie, you you just you just go, I I, I hate clowns even more i hate him i hate him i hate him i hate him oh my gosh yeah. interesting what, okay the, but what's i know we got to talk about other stuff probably but i have another question about movies yeah and tv do you love ryan murphy and american horror story well we didn't do american horror story and and the reason why is because when oh. we're home binge watching movies that's not our our thing we we like um, okay you know i mean because we just we just watched the the watcher have you seen that yet no, I Eric, heard good come on! It, you gotta catch up, dude. The Watcher is like the, the biggest Watcher? thing in the world right now. Is that horror or thriller it's, or drama? No, it's it's a thriller inside your head. You cannot figure out that oh. that that drama at all. And and you sit there and you start oh pointing God. fingers and all that kind of stuff at everything. Oh, yeah, I like psychological. It sounds psychological. I like that. Oh, the, the, okay. My wife has given me the information on on the Rob Zombie. Thirty one is one of the movies. Three from hell, mm. and and I mean I mean you but you but when you see Rob Zombie, a movie from him, I mean he is mm-hmm. it, it's like it's like you're living his image because when you look at Rob Zombie, first of all I love him very very much, but he looks like a scary movie. Oh, the the actual main, yeah, the actual well, Rob Zombie. He's he's definitely lives that name. I'll tell you that for sure. Oh my gosh! I, I okay, so I'll be doing some googling later on. I'm interested now. So now, you, right, you, well, you also talked about that 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 you like great food and stuff like that during during the lockdown. I really locked in on mm-hmm. on creating soups. I mean, dude, I think I I would love to get a soup truck and give people a different type of soup every day, only because I would never remember what I put mm-hmm. into it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> soup? You mean like soup, like split pea? Um, chicken noodle soup. Yeah. Like soup. Oh, dude, you, you mm-hmm. chicken noodle soup is my specialty, and I mean, I really put the spices in it, and I, I, I put in, you know, one of the things that I do is I make it scalding hot. I mean, it has to be so hot that you can oh. barely touch it, and the reason why is because it slows you down. You can't sit there and gulp that oh. junk down. You got, you got to sit there and have a conversation with it. No, you know what? That's a such a meaningful and powerful like explanation. So I can't help but support it. Shout out to your soup. You should start a soup truck, and I will definitely be a customer <laughs> at your soup truck. You you coming from Orangeburg, South Carolina? You, did you ever get up here to Charlotte? Um, you know what's crazy? You know what's so crazy? Oh, do you know what's so crazy? So literally, mm, okay, I'm not, I'm gonna leave out that detail, but 
I most likely will end up living in North Carolina, Charlotte to be exact, if not Charlotte, Durham. Uh, I will actually be in North Carolina tomorrow. You just will? looking at apartments and doing apartment tours. Yeah. Wow. It's you know, I mean, come on. I mean, it's such a great place to be living the, on on the East Coast over here because it, you know you know what it's like. I mean, you're so close to the beaches and all that kind of stuff where you can go to the yeah. mountains. And I mean, you you being down there in Orangeburg, I mean, you were so close to Charleston, and I love Charleston. Oh, Charleston. Okay, you know what? I love how the universe works. So you're the perfect person for me to ask. So with my like social media career and then like the voice, me moving to North Carolina, do you think that's a good decision? Like, yes. are there opportunities for stuff like yes. in my lane? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. One one hundred percent. There's a reason why Charlotte is one of the fastest growing cities in the nation, and it's because oh. oppor- opportunity is everything. Okay. All yeah. right. Yeah, ab- absolutely. I mean, I mean, everybody from around the world it, it, are coming here, and, and it's so funny is that people from New York, from Ohio, from California, mm-hmm. Texas, they're they're all moving to to the Charlotte area only because my essential job puts me out there in front of people, and I get to be with them, and it's and it's so fascinating to sit there and talk to them about their stories and why they moved here and all yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, wow. And I, and I thought, it's on my list. I thought I was a freak in 1985 when I moved down here. I'm going, what did I move there for? And all of a sudden, the world is moving here. Oh, see, that's okay. We are relate. See, I that's how I was feeling like, okay, Eric, are you really about to go look at apartments in North Carolina? Like, what's in North Carolina? But then people from North Carolina keep saying, don't downplay us. Like, we, we wear it sad. Yep. So to hear somebody else talk good about North Carolina the way you did, I feel like I'm making the right decision. Yeah, because it, it's it's a hub city is what it is. Even the rock stars and stuff like that, they'll use Charlotte as a hub city. They'll fly in, they'll get their hotels here, and then, they'll, then they can easily fly out to other areas to do their concerts. Oh, that's smart. Okay. And so, okay. but I mean, I mean, you should know. I mean, I mean, once you win, you know, NBC's The Voice. I mean, you're going to be on tour yourself, <laughs> and and all of a sudden, you're going to go, well, where, where's my hub city? Well, so that's right. I moved to Charlotte. I'm going to use that as my hub city. Oh yeah, once I win the vote, I look like we're going to definitely manifest that. <laughs> <laughs> So let, let me ask you a question, okay, because if you're going to move to Charlotte and, and you coming yeah. from down there around the Charleston area, which is known for its famous food and stuff like that, what, what kind of food are you into? Because Charlotte is becoming, uh, I mean, with Johnson and uh, Wales and stuff like that, with, with, you know, with them having that university here, I mean, what, what mm-hmm. is it that you get into, the type of food? Um, I am, and this is going to sound so bad, I'm very, uh, I want to say against, but if I had to choose fast food versus soul food, I'm going to choose. I'm going to get in a drive through every time. I'm going to get fast food every time. I'm going to choose McDonald's every time. Yep, I'm yep. big on fast food. Yep. Burger, fry. Mm-hmm. I love it. Yeah, that quarter pounder with cheese, man. I got to do the double. It that's be- it. <laughs> that's it. Oh, my God. That's it. Oh, my God. That's it. Dude, and, and, so you and, know. and when they tell you to go pull over there in the little area because they're cooking it, I'm going, it's, this baby's going to be hot and fresh. It's going to be hot I ain't and even fresh. mad. <laughs> I'm not even mad to pull up and wait because I know it's going to be burning my tongue when I get onto it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> so so then do you, do you wait for the french fries or do you sit there and gobble the french fries down first? Uh, no, I've never. You know what? That's never happened to me where I've got some of the food. Usually they just like hold off and like give me all of the order when I have to pull up and wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because mm-hmm. I mean, oh my god, and and you know there are days where all I want is that dang single burger too because there's something about that burger. I mean, you Chick Fil A, blah mm-hmm. blah 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 blah. You 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 put it up against that single <laughs> McDonald's hamburger, and I I'm going for the pickles on that monkey. That's <laughs> that's it. Like, we love chicken every now and then, but you get a little tired of chicken. You need you an old fashioned burger. <laughs> That's just it. That's it. Is, is it because we're here in the South, Eric? I mean, come on. I mean, I mean we, we, we're on the same page here. I don't know because it's something about, like, if we're going to do chicken in the South, it's going to be a leg, a thigh, a bread. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, we can, you can fillet it and put on a piece of bread and call it a sandwich, and that's cute. We'll eat that sometimes. But, like, a burger, we'll probably go for the burger if the chicken ain't on a leg on a drumstick. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> oh my God, Harris Teeter chicken. Have you tried that? Do you, you you have a Harris Teeter near you or a Kroger? I don't know what. No, we don't. I don't have that. Oh, oh my God, dude! I can't put down the Harris Teeter uh, chicken. I mean, I mean, they they cook it over there. I I keep going back there to try to figure out how they're cooking it and all that kind of stuff. They won't let me back there. It's a dang grocery store. They won't let me back there. 
Oh, it's a grocery store. Yeah, grocery store chicken. I mean, it is. I mean, it's like it's one of those where you have you have one or two pieces. You're going. I can't stop. And then, and then you have your third piece. Um, I can't stop. You ju- you just can't stop with it because it's just. Oh simple. my god! Yeah, it's like cotton candy. <laughs> I've ne- so it's a grocery store. And in the grocery store, is it like they sell like hot food, or is it like you have to buy it and like take it home and make it yourself? Dude, my Harris Teeter store has a bar in it. It it's it, oh it, my god! Yeah, I mean it is is it is a true community grocery store that has a bar in it. It has I mean people go there to eat, get sushi. They have chicken. They I mean it's, oh my it, god! And they sit down at the bar and eat and all that kind of stuff. It has pizza. It has everything. And this is Charlotte. Yeah, you see why you got to move right. here. You that's the reason why you got to so, move here, dude. <laughs> for, the, for the bars in the grocery store. Yeah. All right, why'd you move to Charlotte, Eric? Well, you know, I heard about this Harris Teeter store with a bar in it. I, I really had to bar. make <laughs> And I just, I, I had to move. And, okay, so tomorrow I know where I'm having lunch at, and, at the and, place. Okay. And Eric, it has live music on Thursday nights. So now you have a stage every Thursday night. You... When I go down there tomorrow, I'd be like, "Do y'all have any openness for singles? Because I love, I love a consistent booking." And I thank you. <laughs> I love this. So now I know what I got to do. I got to have a business trip tomorrow. <laughs> wow, that is so interesting. So I mean, I mean, being being in in South Carolina, first of all, I the, the one thing I know about Orangeburg is the fact that when I was going to Charleston, we'd always see the sign saying Orangeburg this way. What what was it like to grow up in that city? Because a lot of people pass it, but they don't stop to visit. Oh, oh my God! You you know what I'm talking always, about, right? Right when you're going down 26, no, I really I I agree with that statement a little too much. <laughs> I would say I always tell people whenever I describe Orangeburg, I say all we got is trees and oxygen, and the only reason why we got oxygen <laughs> is because of the trees. So it's just it's you. I see why people like you don't. Know, we I love Orangeburg because I like quiet. And that's why if I were to move to North Carolina, it probably wouldn't be Charlotte. Like, I would, like, move, like, somewhere that's near Charlotte that's a little more quieter. I, like, I don't like loud and busy and, like, urban. And Orangeburg is not, like, that loud or, like, it's not a busy town at all. Well, you would love where I am right now because we're broadcasting from an RV at at, at Andrew Jackson State Park with a lake outside my window. So why the hell aren't you here? <laughs> oh, my God. That sounds... <laughs> That sounds so aesthetically appeasing. Oh my gosh! <laughs> See, that's the thing about Charlotte. That's the thing about Charlotte is is that you not, not even thirty minutes away from Charlotte, you're you're in these beautiful state parks, and and so it's like people go, "Are you going mm-hmm. camping?" I'm going, "Yeah, I'm just going to go down the road," and 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 you go and you go in a McDowell Park and and Cane Creek. Wow, so it's it's all within thirty minutes. So yeah, you move to the city, but then you escape to these little places. Oh my god! Oh, wow, I didn't know Charlotte was dead. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I just don't, I really don't care for loud. And, you know, Andre is quiet. Um, If I want to have fun or, like, go somewhere that's, like, a little more lively, I'll go, like, 30 minutes up the yep. road to Columbia, South Carolina, which is, like, the capital. Um, I, But Andre, I, I, I mean, I like quiet, so I, I, I love it. <laughs> I've been to Sesquicentennial Park over there in Columbia. I mean, that's a good place to escape, Ooh. too. Have you been there yet? I, I have not. I stay in the house under the bed. I, I, I never... Uh uh-uh. uh, Eric, I gotta be I your tour guide. Down. I know I'm gonna be your tour guide. When when you win NBC's The Voice, I'm your tour guide. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna make sure that you are you are taken care of when it comes to finding your peace and tranquility. Well, first I'm gonna say thank you for still manifesting that I'm gonna win this show, <laughs> and then two. <laughs> Thank you for being. It's sad that I have to get a tour guide that's some somebody who's not even from where I'm from, because <laughs> I don't go nowhere. Uh, and, and all you have to, and I always tell people that try to win the Powerball lottery and stuff like that. Look, all I want you to do is sit in the back seat. I get control of the radio so we can listen to music. But you get you sit mm-hmm. in the back seat. I'll drive you wherever you want to go. Oh, thank you. And you paying for the gas? Yes, to you. Gas is too high. <laughs> <laughs> too no, high. NBC's The Voice is gonna pay for the gas. All right. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. They'll give us all. They'll give us all a little mini show on the app. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, dude. Yeah. You, you gotta, they need more shows. Oh, you got to come back to this show anytime in the future. I have had a wonderful, oh. amazing time with you this morning. 
I, I feel the same way. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, I don't know if your wife can hear. You said wife, right? I don't want to make her your wife. If that's not your wife, you said wife or girlfriend. My, no, it's my wife of 29 years. Yeah, we've been hanging out. Oh with each my other. God. Love. <laughs> Love is so strong. Congratulations, you guys. And hey, Miss Wife in the background. How you doing? <laughs> Nice meeting you too. Oh, y'all in love. Yeah, hey, come hang out with our neighborhood. Yes. <laughs> we have ice cream parties every summer, so you got you got to come just for the ice cream. Oh my God, yes. Y'all y'all have fun down there. <laughs> All right, man. You be brilliant today, okay? Oh, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.